Hello, today I am going to discuss about electrical source and electrical load for instrumentation. For any circuit, we need a minimum of one power source and one load. If there is a circuit with only the power source without any load, it may cause fire in a circuit due to lowest resistance in a circuit. Okay? So minimum requirement in a simple circuit is one power source and one load. Of course, if you want, you can have one power source and have many load. It can be one load, two load, or three load, doesn't matter. Okay. Here, I got a few pictures here to share with you about electrical source and electrical load. Okay, let's take this example for this picture. Okay, this is a controller. This is a control valve. This is a transducer or IP transducer, current to pressure converter or transducer. Okay. This controller provides the power source. So as I mentioned, a circuit needs a minimum of one power source and one load. Of course, if you want to have more load, that's up to you. But minimum, we need one power source and one load. Okay. If controller provide the power, of course the controller will act as an electrical source because it provides the power source to power the whole loop. And this IP transducer will act as an electrical load here, okay, for communication purpose. Okay, how about this circuit? Again, this controller will provide the power source to power the loop. Of course, because of this, this controller will act as an electrical source. And then this, this uh, VFD will act as an electrical load. Okay. Then how about this circuit? Now, the controller do not provide any power source to power the whole loop. Instead, the controller will act as an electrical load. How we know? It's very simple. You can see there is a positive and negative terminal here. Instead of positive V terminal here. If you see the positive V and uh, there is a wire connected to this positive V terminal, it means this controller will provide the power source. Why? Because the positive V or positive voltage will internally connected. It's internally connected to its internal power source. Okay, so this controller will act as, a, as an electrical load. So as I mentioned earlier, a circuit should have a minimum of one power source and one load. Oh, okay, so this transmitter need to act as an electrical source. So here we use a four wire transmitter. Okay, what is the difference between 4-wire transmitter and 2-wire transmitter? 4-wire transmitter have 4 wires. 2-wire connect to the external power source to power up the transmitter. Another 2-wire from the output transmitter will be used for signal communication in a loop here. Okay? So, this external power source connect to the transmitter and power up the transmitter. Then this transmitter output terminal will be used for the signal communication between the transmitter and the controller. So this transmitter will act as an electrical source, whereas the controller will act as an electrical load. Okay, again for this circuit, the controller act as an electrical load. So this is a four wire transmitter similar to this one. It is powered by external power source to power up the transmitter. And then the, the transmitter output terminal will be used for loop communication. Okay. This transmitter, of course, will act as an electrical source. And then the controller will act as an electrical load. Okay. How about this one? Again, this controller acts as an electrical load judging by the positive and negative terminal here. Because the controller acts as an electrical load, the transmitter 
has to act as an electrical source. However, this is a two-wire transmitter instead of four-wire transmitter. The transmitter do not have the ability to power up the loop. So, it must be powered from the external power source. In order to solve this problem, this two-wire transmitter will be externally connected to external power source as shown here. So this external power source is connected in series with the transmitter and the controller. So the power source here will power up the transmitter and the controller. Obviously, this transmitter and controller will both act as electrical load. Okay? How about this one? If you observe carefully, the wire is actually connected to positive V, which is positive voltage source. This is actually internally connected to its, to its controller internal power source. So this controller, of course, in this case, will act as an electrical source to power the whole loop. Okay, so the power source will power the transmitter. So this transmitter will act as a load. And then we come to this positive and negative terminal here. And then there is a load here. You may ask, how come there is a register here which acts as a load? Is it okay we connected the wire from positive V to the transmitter, then back to the negative terminal here? No. Why? You need another register here. I explain the reason. Because this is a digital controller. So digital controller need a digital protocol for communication and digital signal for, for processing. Because of this, and the signal is a 4 to 20 milliampere signal, you need to convert the analog signal to digital signal. And this analog signal must be the analog voltage signal. Since, since, the, loop, since the loop is a 4 to 20 milliamp signal instead of the voltage signal, we have to put one register here. Usually for instrumentation, we will connect 250 ohm register here to add as a load. Why? Because as we know, voltage is current time resistance and this resistance is fixed, which is 250 ohm in this case. But the current is variable, which is 4 to 20 milliampere. So when the current is changes, the voltage will change. And this register or load will provide analog voltage signal between 1 volt to 5 volt. How I achieve this? Very simple. You can use the calculator to calculate. Okay, voltage is current time resistance. Resistance is fixed 250 ohm. Let's say the minimum current, the minimum current signal in this loop is 4 milliamp to time 4. So you will get about, because this is milliampere, you will get about 1 volt. Okay, you need to, of course, time 1 milli. Okay, you get what I mean? If let's say the current is 20 milliamp, you will get about 5 volt. Alright? So, that's all. 